Hey guys, Luftinger here playing some more Steel Fury. Just a quick introduction before I throw you guys into the gameplay. This time around we are on the German side running one of the most famous and popular tank, the Tiger, and supporting friendly mechanized infantry units pushing from the east side. It starts off rather easy, but as we cross the Bobshia River we start seeing some enemy armor, and overall it was a really fun game. Alright, so as I said, uh, we're trying to push towards the town across the river. There's a small defense point which is uh, currently being under our friendly barrage. And we also have our main invasion force to our right, which we can't really see, but consisting of few Hanamangs and raw infantry units. But the problem is we can't really support them since we're so far apart and there's this uh, thick wood line which is kind of making things worse for us because we can't really see or support the main invasion force and that's the river we need to cross I'm gonna halt over here and try to observe the other side of the bank there are a few trenches, infantry units not seeing any heavy emplacements like MG or field guns well I'm gonna ask my loader to load up H round. And maybe we'll engage some of the trenches over there. They range up to 700. And fire. A little bit far. And fire. That was a good hit. Now, other than that, it looks pretty clear. We really don't have to worry about... ...raw infantry units. But I do see one MG nest. Uh, it's being blocked by... ...smoke over there. But, there he is. I'm gonna say that's 800 meters, or 900. Actually, that's 800. And fire! Way too far. Correcting range. And fire. Observing shot. Seems like they're still up. Let's try one more. That was a good hit. Alright, let's keep pushing up. I also recently discovered that as a commander on some tanks, we can drop smoke. Like this. Doesn't really work well, but, you know, it's still a cool feature. And I forgot to mention, but we do have three or two other tanks under my command. Oh, look at the beast! Man, they look amazing. And that's the Boshaya River that we need to cross. Shit! No. We need to first deal with that field gun. I forgot where it went. There he is. And uh, load up HE again. It's way closer than previous targets. I'm gonna try 400 meters, 300 meters. And fire! Try one more. There's a tree in between us, so it's kind of affecting the shell trajectory. Should be fine. Fire! Good hit. And fire! Alright, let's keep pushing up. 
see a few other um, Soviet troops escaping from the tiny village. And also see the German troops over there. You can see the Hanumag in the distance. Hopefully they won't meet any major defense forces. Because like I said, I can't really support them from this distance. Seems like these Hanumags are being engaged by something big. Maybe a field gun, even a tank. I don't see them though. So I'm going to try and cross the river quick. I'm going to switch to the driver. Driving is not as simple as driving a race car or a simple car. You have to keep in mind of our gear and terrain and mines. Although the report said there's no major obstacles around the bridge. Which we should see in a second. There it is. Obviously we don't want to fall into the river. Alright. Now I'm gonna shift towards the right side. Since I really don't want to go into the town by ourselves without our infantry support units. Now we will keep on going this way. We're headed towards the east bank right now. Hopefully our main invasion forces are still good and up. You can really see that I have such a limited field of view outside this uh, piece of metal. Alright, good enough. I'm going to switch to the gunner now. Still have HG loaded. I'm going to just quickly scan the river. Let's see Hanamog. Seems like they're being engaged by something big over this hill. I'm gonna keep pushing up this hill slowly and slowly. Shit, tank. Or not. Aktong, Pansa, where, where, where? Crap. Maybe kill the driver? They're getting out, we should be alright. And more tanks up ahead. And fire. Or load first. Can't really mark an accurate hit through the. Oh shit, there's so many freaking tanks! Those are T-34 85s. I'm gonna try and angle our tank to a better way. No, that's actually... Looks like an IS-2. That was a good hit. Sounded like a good hit. There were another tank coming from this side, yet. Yeah. I lost sight on that IS-2. Where's he at? I think that the ice two is down. There's one more over here. Yep, two more. Shit. I don't think they're actually aware of my presence.
There we go. Good hit. I think he's immobilized now. There's one more to the right side. Uh, that's T-34. Fire. Good hit. That's friendly tiger. The fire one inside the turret. And one more. All right. That's down T thirty four. I hear a few more tanks. Oh, there they are. 800 meters ranging and fire a little bit far still hit one two three t-34s and fire good it we have to watch our left side as well I don't think these t-34s are actually aware that I'm here and they're busy taking out the infantries across the bank. And fire. Good hit again. He stopped. His turret is still up. Nope, he's down. Now I think this is the last one towards the right side. Fire. Good hit. Maybe hit the radio man. Still going though. Fire one inside the driver hatch. No went over it. Never mind, the tank is smoking, we should be alright. That's a tiger you hear from our left side, I think. So I'm gonna keep pushing up this hill. Oh god. Those Hanamogs really got destroyed. <laughs> My commander is reporting a tank somewhere. Forgot to listen to his report. One thing I wish is that they would like keep a log of reports so I can always check the range and whatnot. Uh, there he is. He's behind the tank. Nobody knows how my commander was able to spot him through the building. There he is. Stop. Nah. Can't really see through the bushes. And hopefully go over it. Oh, there he is. That's again an IS, you can tell by the camouflage. Is he facing at me? Yep. I think he's firing at one of our... ...tanks in our unit. Fire the tracks. His tracks are out. And I put one inside his engine. Oh, he's still up. Stubborn bugger. And fire. Yeah, it's down. So, shortly after that, radio message confirmed that all enemy armor is down, but unfortunately, our side also suffered some heavy losses. Only few infantry survived from the West Bank, and we also lost one of our Tiger tank. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up the video over here. If you have any requests on what tank you want to see next, feel free to post a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.